What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, Good Hearts and God Sends. My name is Simon, Good Heart VA, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. We make videos here in Canva Play to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. Alright then! Let me start our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a photocopy scan effect in Canva. How to make a picture look scanned. When you scan an image, you reproduce it in an electronic digital form by using a scanner. Scanned image appears to have much poorer resolution. The difference in quality between a scanned image and a picture of a print photo is astronomical. One looks like the actual photo, whereas the other looks like a photo of a photo because that's exactly what it is. In spite of its much poorer resolution, the look somehow presents an artistic kind of quality, isn't it? That is why we sometimes want to change the real colorful photo we had into a scanned look picture. Here's now the way on how to do it in Canva. But before that, here are the designs that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create a design. To start, get your subject image from photos or uploads. I will get mine from uploads. I will click this one. This is my subject photo. I got this image from Canva's photo stock library using the keyword handsome male with cross tattooed arms. I choose to use this picture because it has a lot of dark colors in it. The background and the shirt colors are all in dark theme. This kind of theme will appear more visible when created by the photocopy scan effect. To find beautiful images like this one and use them freely without watermark, I recommend you to use Canva Pro. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have a link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. Just click the link and it will direct you to Canva to process your trial subscription. It's completely free. And you can cancel it at any time you want, hassle-free. Next step is I will set this image as my background. Since we are aiming for a photocopy scan look, we need to transform it into a typical black and white look. But we can also make it colored because some scanned image copies are in color too. So, let's duplicate this image. Let's go back to the first one. Going back to this first image, go to Edit Image, scroll down and find the Photogenic Effect. This one, click See All. And as you can see, you will see here so many options to choose from. Scroll down and find the Mono section. This one, and under the Mono section, Let's choose here the Film Photogenic. Click it and then click Apply. You can actually use all of the options under the Mono section in the Photogenic toolbar. Although for me, I prefer using the Film Effect we used here or the Ink Effect if you saw that one a while ago. My reason for saying this is that this type of Mono Photogenic Effect gives a soft black and white tone to the image just like when we scanned or photocopied a document or a digital print. The hard copy has a smudged charcoal ink look. I will zoom it in for you to see it clearly. To 
To continue, let us now add the perfect elements to achieve a realistic photocopy scan effect to our design. I will be needing transparent textured overlays to make the design as if it passes through the dark ink of a photocopy machine that leaves some marks or stains in it. Now, I will go to Elements and type in the search bar the keyword Photocopy Scan Overlay Texture Hit Enter then go to graphics and too many photocopy scan overlay texture elements will appear in front of your eyes. Finding keywords is hard and time consuming and you need to do a depth search and a lot more time to find this kind of keyword. If you want to save time and find extraordinary keywords like this in Canva, we have created an ebook called Canva Deep. Canva Deep is an ebook of 900 plus Canva search keywords with visual presentations that are widely known in deep search to help you find the exact stack Canva resources for your day-to-day -day designs. Going back, I will choose the second one here, this one, showing you the keyword Photocopy Scan Overlay Texture. I will click it and use it in the design. Then I will flip this element horizontally and I will resize it. After that, I will position this element here at the right portion of our design page. Okay, so it's already good with me. Next, I will need another one. And from the options given here, I think I will choose this one, the fourth one. Showing you the keyword, photocopy scan overlay texture. I will click it and use it in the design. Then, after that, I will flip it vertically like this one and position it like this one. I will duplicate it and attach it here. I will flip this one horizontally. There you go. For the final touch to this black and white photocopy scan effect, let's go again to elements. So as you can see here, we are here under the graphics section. This time, let's click the option photos. To find all the photocopy scan overlay textures that falls under photos. And let's use the first one, this one, showing you the keyword transparent overlays photocopy scan textures. I will click this and use it in my design. And then I will position it here at the upper left portion of our design. Let me just flip it horizontally first and then let's resize it and maybe adjust this one here. Perfect. Let me show you our first sample. So let's go to the second page with the duplicated image we set aside a while ago. And for this example, let's directly overlay to this background photo the photocopy scan overlay texture elements we just recently searched. So let's switch back again to graphics. And as you can see here, the overlays that we need for the subject. So for this one, I'm going to use this one, the first one, showing you the keyword, photocopy scan overlay texture. I will click it and use it in the design. And then I will flip this one vertically. 
I will position it here at the bottom left and I will stretch it out going down like this. Okay, I will use another one. I think I'm going to use this one again, the fourth one. I will click it to use it in my design and then I will... I think I'm going to resize it and occupy the whole page. Then I will lock it. Next, we need a circle black shadow element for this colored scan copy design we created. So let's find that one under elements. So let's go to elements here. Type in the search bar the keyword circle black shadow hit enter and you will see here so many options to choose from let's go to graphics and the one that i'm looking for here is i think this one showing you the keyword here circle shadow i will click this and use it in my design I will position this element in the dark spots of the page as if these are the stains produced by the printer to the hard copy scanned print. After that, I'll select them and send them to back. For the final touches, let's add a page turn effect to both of our designs. I will now go again to elements and search in the search bar the keyword paper shadow effect. Hit enter. Go to graphics. And from the list provided here, I think I will use this one, showing you the keyword, paper shadow effect on a isolated background, dash vector isolated illustration. I will click it and use it in my design. And then I will position it here at the bottom right portion of our page. I will click copy. And I will paste it here on our first sample too. This is now the second sample we created using the photocopy scan effect in Canva. Done! This is now the final look of the two designs we created using the photocopy scan effect in Canva. This is the first sample. This is the second sample. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe, 
drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, Goodheart VA saying sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky Godsent VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.